Yeah, you know what's really just fucking good in Duel Links right now, Dex? That slam big dudes on the board turn two and they just fucking kill you? Blue Eyes Dex revolve around putting out big fucking monsters like, oh, who would have guessed a Blue Eyes White Dragon? Masked Hero Anki keeps on changing into himself, and vampires. Find the airstrike on the way! No, that's a lot of damage! Now, I just want to clarify that having big dudes you smash your face in isn't inherently a problem. Except when this is the better. This is not okay. Anyways, Yu-Gi-Oh! is a game is fucking fast, and you put a bunch of big dudes on the board, you only have 4,000 fucking lap points. Oh, jeez, man, that's not a lot of life points. Wow, what an astute observation, little Timmy. That isn't a lot of life points, and that's why you die so goddamn fast in Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. But yeah, anyways, the point I'm trying to get to is that aggressiveness is okay as long as there's tools to answer the aggressiveness so that you can actually have fun and interactive gameplay. Yeah, I'm not talking about putting in more goddamn trap cards. We have enough of those things, and they keep on getting fucking nuked by all these assholes anyway. But yo, check this shit out. These EFOs are like, yo, let's put Effect Veiler in Duel Links. That car? Great car. You're gonna stop a lot of the bullshit that happens on Char 1. And, you know what? I also agree with him. I think Effect Veiler would be good for a game. However, I personally think that it feels like crap to get Effect Veiler, which is why I'm all in favor of my boy Gores, the Emissary of Darkness. So here's a quick little recap in case you don't know what this guy does. When you take damage from a card in your possession, you oh, have fucking Jesus. When you take damage from a card in your opponent's possession, you can special summon this card from your hand. You must control no cards to activate and to resolve this effect. If summoned this way, activate the appropriate effect based on the type of damage. Battle damage. Special summon one emissary of darkness token. Fairy type light level seven. Attack and defense question mark. Its attack and defense are each equal to the amount of battle damage you took. Effect damage. Inflect damage to your opponent equal to the amount of damage you took. Now, it should be pretty obvious that this card is not really well known for its uh, effect damage effect, but yeah, this card was a fucking beast back in the uh, TCG 2012 days, 2011, th fuck it, around that time period. This card was run for pretty goddamn good reason because it single handedly stopped your ass from getting OTK when your opponent would slam down a bunch of dudes on the board and try to beat the shit out of you and you're trying to steal your lunch, man. You're like, nah, fuck you, man. My buddy Gorse, he's got my back. Now, a drawback where you have to have nothing on your board might seem a little insane, but trust me, that actually comes up a lot more often. Than you think it would, and also if you just brick, like you're not gonna play anything anyway, so like you just leave your board open. But the funniest thing is that the threat of gores was such a real deal back in the day that you could actually just straight up pass on the first turn and not play anything and just make your opponent think you had gores when you actually didn't, and like oftentimes it just wouldn't swing at you. That shit was fucking hilarious. I want that type of gameplay in Duel Links right now. Come on, Konami, next pack. Put in gores, the emissary of darkness. We need him in the game. We only got 4,000 life points. That's like Fucking only a thousand three hundred points more than the Gorse's attack. Like just, just put him in. Just put him in. I want, I want Gorse. I want, I want so bad. I just missed the feeling of just being able to slam down Gorse. Like, bah!